How's it going guys? Uh, welcome to this uh, quick video. As you guys can see, I'm in my car right now. I'm actually driving. And uh, just want to show you guys a quick tutorial here and answer some, uh, hopefully answer some questions uh, with this uh, video uh, on how to drive with paddle shifters. Uh, I post a couple of videos uh, on my channel with my uh, previous car. I used to have an Infiniti G37. Every car is different. Uh, for example, with the G37, uh, if you come to a complete stop uh, and you didn't downshift, uh, the car by default uh, will go down to first gear. Uh, this is a Lexus IS250 all-wheel drive. I'm, I'm driving in the uh, regular D or drive mode right now. So in order to start shifting with the paddles or shifting with the knob here, you need to move it over the uh, sport mode, which I'm gonna do right now. And by the way, you can do that at any point. You don't have to stop the car. Uh, you know, you can just do it while you're driving. So as a matter of fact, you know, if you, uh, for some reason, you feel like you need to pass another car, uh, you need to, you know, gain a little extra power or something like that while you're driving, you can just move this over like that and then you are right away on the sport mode you can start down shifting on this car you do it down or you go up to uh, up shift so i can go right like like that down shift i'm on second gear right now and as you guys can see i can just uh shift uh, up by moving the knob forward there is a plus and a minus sign right here Obviously, I can also do it with the, with the paddles. Uh, so uh, here's uh, this is the plus and this is the minus. Up shift right here, down shift right here. Let's see my reps right now are showing 4,000. It's kind of high right now. I can feel the engine really engaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, up shift right there. I'm on four gear right now. Uh, this particular car offers uh, six gears. It's an automatic transmission with six gears. Uh, there's no clutch with this car. Uh, just to answer a couple of questions that people asked before, uh, you can step on the brakes anytime. And uh, just like a regular uh, stick chip uh, or manual car, uh, you know, if you, if you slow down, you probably want to downshift if you want to keep going and keep keep the same uh, uh, power that you had before. Uh, you're not going to break the car if you downshift, uh, you know, while you're driving or if you uh, step on the brakes and then uh, you go again. It's not going to break the car. So I'm going to downshift again right now. I'm on fourth. I'm going to go, uh, I'm at 60 miles an hour right now. I'm going to downshift to third with the paddle right here on the left. Now, another question that I got before, uh, people ask if you need to remove your foot from the gas while you're shifting. That's the that's beauty of this uh, paddle shifter system. You don't have to remove your foot from the gas. As you are, pressing the gas you can just keep shifting either down or up which is why you know the uh, uh, automatic transmissions with paddles uh, or with the option to drive in the uh, stick mode shift so quick and fast with a regular manual transmission car as you guys know you're gonna have to uh, press uh, or, or step on the clutch release the gas and then shift with this you don't have to do that so uh let's see if we can do a little uh shift couple of gears here so i'm gonna go down to third you guys you guys are gonna hear the engine i'm going to fourth right now and then going to five now i'm gonna down shift one more and obviously, you know, just like a regular uh, manual transmission car, uh, downshifting can actually help you to uh, brake or, or, you know, restrain 
the uh, the transmission, the engine, so it's gonna feel like you know you're slowing down. But yeah, hopefully I answered you guys uh, questions uh, from those uh, videos before. Uh, again, with this particular car, um, I already did the test. If I come to a complete stop, which probably I'm not gonna do right now, I'm on the interstate. There's just, you know, there's no lights or anything like that here. So, but um, yeah, like if I'm on fourth or fifth gear and I come to a complete stop and I don't down chief by myself, uh, pretty much the uh, the gear it's not gonna change it's gonna stay where it was but when you go uh, it, the transmission basically by default it's like if you are start driving again on the D, D mode or j just regular drive so but as soon as you start shifting again it will switch to the uh, sport mode uh, so let me see if I can uh, downshift and upshift a couple more times here while you guys are watching. Uh, you see, right now I'm stepping on the brakes. I don't have to downshift if I don't want to, but I can. I think if you, uh, you know, if you want to go to like a racetrack or something like that, or like I said, like if you're on the interstate. You want to pass a car or something like that you want to feel like you have more control over the transmission over the gears when you change gears how you do it this is when this thing comes handy comes uh, in place otherwise i mean of course you know you can just uh, drive uh in the regular d drive now here, here's the other thing though you can leave the car in the D mode. See, I'm, I'm gonna switch it now as I'm driving to the D mode. That was another question that people ask. If, if you're gonna break the transmission, if you switch between sport mode or regular mode as you're driving, or if you have to stop in order to switch the, 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 uh, the mode, you don't have to stop. You can switch it at any point while you're driving. I'm on the D mode right now, regular drive. I'm gonna switch. So now it's showing I'm on four gear. Now I'm gonna switch back. So I'm on the regular D mode. So uh, there you have it guys. Uh, you know, thank you for watching the video. Any questions, comments, uh, let me know. Uh, believe it or not, uh, there are a lot of people that, you know, have never had the experience to uh, drive cars with paddle shifter or with the dual transmission. Uh, and they have no idea how you do it. So it's not a big deal. It's really easy. Uh, it's not complicated at all. Obviously, you know, you need, you need more skills if you're gonna drive a car with a clutch because you need to learn how to do that. With this car, it's just easy. You're not really driving anything different. Uh, the only thing is that you have the control when you are shifting. You decide when you shift, how you shift. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. So, uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys, uh, and I will see you on the next uh, video. See you later.